with the back at you and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Welcome to lunchtime with the bullies. You know the vibes, you know the vibes, you know the vibes. We got some stuff done, man. We got to pay respect to Howie Roseman. Shout out to Howie. Shout out to the organization for hearing the gripes and concerns. You know what I mean? We've been wanting this linebacker for a very long time. Not this linebacker, but we've been wanting a linebacker for a very long time. And we've been able to, you know, we was able to do it this year. We was able to do it this year. And what's that? Blackhawks is out. What up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? CJ Huggins, what up? Michael DeWan, what's up? D'Angelo Adams, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? John Wilson, what up? Ace Boogie, what up? Kevo, what's going on, Kevo? Yo, 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 let's get Miles Jack. I don't know, man. We're going to see. We're going to see. But right now, right now, I ain't mad. I ain't mad right now. I ain't mad at DJ Chark. I ain't mad at DJ Chark going wherever he, he supposed to be going to the Lions. I ain't mad. It's nothing to be mad about. Because one thing that we have is we have the capital in a monumental draft. I ain't mad. If you was to tell me that you was going to be able to sign Hassan Reddick and still have three first round picks, if you was able to, if, if you could explain to people how important signing a linebacker like Hassan Reddick and still having your three first round picks is, you guys do not understand what Hassan Reddick is as a player. JB, I mean, Jay, what's good? A lot of people don't understand what we got. Some people think he's a defensive end. He's a linebacker that can that can beat a that can beat almost any tackle off the edge with his speed. D Lo, what's going on, D Lo? A lot of people not aware of what we got going on right here. They just not aware. They not in tune, and that's fine. That's fine. We got a guy that could cover. We got a guy that can. He's adaptable to any scheme we want to play. We got a guy who gets after this quarterback. We different right now. We are, we, we are looking to be extremely different, and you can't be mad at that. We looking to be extremely dif different right now. So, hey, Miss Miss Austin, how you doing, Miss Austin? Dollars overpaid for Gregory. Eh, I'm not concerned. Listen, listen, listen. The sun is out. The sun is out. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get to the sun so maybe you can understand where I'm coming from. The sun is out. The sun is out. Therefore, I'm not concerned with what nobody else got going on in this division. Randy Gregory, okay. Went back to Dallas, okay. I'm telling y'all what's about to happen next year. The Philadelphia Eagles will win 11 plus games next season. 11 plus games next season. The writing is on the wall, man. It's already there. Keep your capital. But you in a unique, you you in a unique situation though. If you the Eagles, the way I'm looking at this thing, you was able to get Hassan ready. You was able to get him. Now, if you able to like, I, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to throw, throw no theories out there. What's going on, Drew Johnson? What's up? LB, you starting to look like Anthony Anderson, the comedian. You got to see me in person because that's disrespectful. But I'm saying, though, 11 plus wins, 11 plus wins is very, very doable. Brown's trying to get Watson. That could happen. That could happen. That really can happen. Landry or Juju? That's tough for me, man. I don't want Juju. I really don't want Juju. I think Landry is going to be a bit expensive. I'll take Juju because you need to replace somebody. You need to replace Rager. You need to replace Rager. So I'll take Juju. I'll take Juju, man, on a one-year prove-it deal. But Chark going to Detroit is laughable to me i think chalk went to detroit because he didn't want to compete for the number one spot and everybody know even if juju come over here smitty is the number one receiver you know what i mean even if juju come over here smitty is the number one receiver so you know what i mean i don't know man i don't know i think chalk didn't want to you know compete for a position and it's, it's a lot of that going on man it ain't about competing it's about fortifying what you already got like you choose the lions over the eagles if you chalk Eagles are interested in Xavier Rose. I did just hear that. Chark sign and weird to me. It, it's very weird to me. It's very, very weird to me. Like, you should be, but like, like this is my thing now. Now that you got Hassan Reddick, you better not let Fletcher Cox go nowhere. 
You better not let Fletcher Cox go nowhere. You can't afford to let Fletcher Cox go nowhere. Why would you let Fletcher Cox go somewhere now that you now that you putting a Pro Bowl linebacker in the fold? In a Pro Bowl or slash Pro Bowl edge rusher. Justin Reed would be dope, I agree. You can't let Fletcher Cox go nowhere. Fletcher Cox go nowhere. You need to have as much as you could possibly get. As many big name Pro Bowls, as many guys who've played in meaningful games as possible on this team. The Philadelphia Eagles do not need to be inquiring about nobody who has never made the Pro Bowl. All Pro Bowlers in free agency. That's what free agency is about. Getting top level talent. Reed went to Kansas City. Justin is on. Who, who are you talking about? Fletch ain't going anywhere now. I don't think he can. Chark isn't trying to win a championship. Clearly, we don't need him. But Chark took a one-year deal. A one-year, like, you took a prove-it deal in Detroit? I, I don't I, I don't get it. Juju was out on Philly. Well, good. Good. Our D-line going to be our strength. Reddick is a beast. Reddick is a beast. My guy, McNabb, Fat Five, thank you for the super chat. Cowboys are being dismantled, and we're getting stronger. Chances we win a division. Are, we're, we're going to win a division this season. This is the season for us to win a division. Listen, it's no secret here, man. I really just don't fear a lot of these dudes, for real, for real, man. I don't. And and, and, and it's time. I, it's time. It's about time I, have, I might have to step on a commander's neck. I really might have to step on a commander's neck in this live stream because the commander's fan base, they just out of pocket. I mean... You got Wentz, cool. I'm happy for you that you got Wentz. I am. We could beat Carson Wentz. Make no mistake about that. Carson Wentz ain't no bum. He still got a lot left in the tank, but we could beat Carson Wentz. At the same time, at the same time, I believe we got a stronger coach than Washington do. I'm not these guys that's going to run around here calling nobody Riverboat Ron. I'm not calling you Riverboat Ron. You got to earn a nickname like that. You got to earn a nickname like that. You got to. Everything somebody ever called me was earned, not given to me. Riverboat Ron How? How is he Riverboat Ron? Somebody explain to me what has Ron Rivera done in his career to even probably even still have a job. For real, for real, we talk, if we keeping it a buck. If we keeping it a buck. He got three winning seasons out of 11 years. Out of 11 years. You tell me how many times Ron Rivera won eight or more games in a season. You tell me how many times. You tell me how many times Ron Rivera won eight or more games in the season. Three times. Three times. That's good. That's a good coach. That's a good coach to you. We swept them. You know what I'm saying? Then you talk about the Dallas Cowboys. You talk about the Dallas Cowboys. McCarthy, Dak, they just lost Amari. They, tried, they threw the bag at Gregory. Come on. Who's scared of them dudes, bro? I don't do, do I even have to mention the Giants. I don't have to talk about them, man. So I'm not really worried about nothing. Nobody. Listen, Hassan Reddick going to eat. He going to eat in this division. That's what I know. He going to eat in this division. And I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it, man. We got a guy who could play. Even if we go switch to a 3-4, he could do that too. You know what I'm saying? We got a guy who's really going to be, he, you know what I mean? Gannon is getting his guys in his draft, and I'm all for it, man. We need to stop talking about Dallas. They're not on our level. They're not on our level. They're not on our level. Nobody in the division is on our level. Come on, bro. I feel like Gannon is going to show out this year to prove he is head coach ready. He got turned down during his interviews. He has something to prove. That's a good way to look at it, Jay. I mean, look, look, look. Show out then, Gannon. Show out then. If you must, show out. Show out if you must, man. We need you to show out. Are we for sure getting rid of Rager? Who said that? The Philadelphia Eagles are not getting rid of Jalen Rager. Before they get rid of a guy that they wasted a first-round pick on two years ago, he'll be a fourth option in the wide receiver room. He's already been demoted from the second option. You know what I mean? He never took the bull by the horns in terms of being the first option when we drafted him, which is why we had to draft Smitty. Quez Watkins took his spot. I think if the Philadelphia Eagles were to draft a guy like Chris Olave, I think it could be a rap for. Uh, I think it could be a rap for him. Trade Chenault for Ray, for for Rager. They looking at Chenault. They looking at Chenault. I repeat, they definitely looking at Chenault. Maybe Doug. Will, maybe Doug will want to get his hands back on Rager. I don't know. My guy Drew. Shout out to Drew, man. You've been a member of Bullyland for twenty months. Twenty months. 
Thank you for all your support. Y'all got a 20 months. That's over a year. He's pushing two years of being a channel member, man. I got something for you, Drew. DM me, Drew. DM me, man. I'm going to send you something out, man. 20 months, man. That's amazing, man. Shout out to you, man. Hey, my guy, Greg Gita uh, Maxwell, man. Thank you, man. Shout out to you, man. Welcome to Bully Land, bro. Cowboys going backwards. Eagles winning the East. I think the Eagles winning the East, too. Marcus Williams is a dog. I really want Marcus Williams, man. But we just spent the bag on an edge rusher, uh, edge rusher slash linebacker. We spent the bag, man. If we could find a way to get one of these safeties on a one-year deal, I'd be ecstatic. I'd be ecstatic, man. I'm rocking, too, bro. Shout out to you, Spot City. Is it not essential we get another wide receiver? It's absolutely essential you get another wide receiver. You can't go out there with the same conglomerate. So Juju Smith, Juju was an upgrade. A lot of people don't like him. They talk, he, he say he out on Philly. Well, cool, we not begging. We, listen, we not begging for you to come here with them TikTok dances, bro. We need somebody who's going to be greasy. We need, we, you know what I mean? We need somebody with some attitude. So Chark and Juju might not have been the best options for us anyway, but it's still some guys that's available, man. Allen Robinson is still out there. Allen Robinson is going to get paid, though. You know what I mean? He's going to get paid. A.B., uh, I think A.B. a little too toxic right now. I feel like we draft in safety corner on wide receiver in the first round. Um, with signing Hassan Reddick, I don't think we'll draft a linebacker in the first round anymore. I think you probably still should. This is what I see us doing. I see us going. I see us going edge rusher in the first round, and I see us going corner. And I see us going edge rusher, safety, and possibly defensive interior inside. I don't know. DJ DJ Chark maybe. I think Chark gone. Odell Odell coming off that injury. I'll take Tyron Matthew on a one year deal. Tyron is about to sign a two year deal with uh, the Raiders. From what I heard, it's still big hurt season. You already know. Sin Rager in the fifth for sure. Nope. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, that that would be a good trade, man. Lavisca should know. If there's anybody that could be Debo Samuels esque, it's Lavisca should know. He just got to be in the right system, man. Miles Jackie just got released. I didn't hear anything about that. That would be crazy. Chark just ended his career signing to Detroit. I don't think so. What's up, LB? West Coast Birds in the building. Shout out to you, man. You already know the vibes. We need Miles Jack. Listen, I'm all for Miles Jack. I'm even for, somebody brought this to my attention, uh, a reunion with Jordan Hicks. I'm for that. I'm for a reunion with Jordan Hicks. I'm telling you, man, the road to going deep in the playoffs is right in front of us. If we the Philadelphia Eagles, it's right in front of us, bro. It's right in front of us, bro. Oh, let me get some water. Ah, uh, need that. Temperature rising, time to hydrate and all of this. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man, we, we definitely on the road to 20,000 subscribers, man. We get in there, we inch in there close by close. Monumental, man. I got some crazy giveaways when that happened, man. I just can't wait, man. I can't wait. Dare Park time. No, this ain't no Dare Park. Y'all y'all know y'all y'all know how to get me to pay attention. I don't drink no Dare Park. How you feel about Rasul Douglas LB bringing back? Bring Rasul Douglas back, but you gotta pay Rasul this time. You gotta pay him. I'm not saying he, he should be getting the premium the premium for uh for for a cornerback, but you gotta get throw Rasul like a nice little three year deal. You know what I'm saying? Throw Rasul a nice three-year deal. Rasul, ra listen, Rasul and Gannon's system, throw Rasul. Rasul will lead this team in interceptions. How about the wide receivers, the Browns, the Browns cut? Who, Landry? <laughs> Do you think we should go linebacker or defensive end in the first round? Defensive end. No, I want Derek Stingley. Well, you're not going to get Derek Stingley. He's going to be gone within the first six picks of the draft. You're not going to get him. You're not going to get Derek Stingley. You could get Booth Jr. Um, what's his name? Calvin Booth Jr., uh, cornerback from Clemson. Um, you could get Trent McDuffie if you want to go cornerback in the draft. Um, Sauce and Derek Sauce Gardner and Derek Stingley going to be gone. They're going to be gone. If they slip, then you jump all on it, but they're going to be gone. 
I think we're going to trade up for Kyle Hamilton. What you think? I mean, we don't have we, we don't have the I mean, we have the assets to get in the top three if we want it. We could trade 15 and 16 to get to like six. You know what I'm saying? But that's way too much capital to get to six. Kyle Hamilton could potentially be gone in the first three picks. We don't need to trade up for nobody, man. This draft is so deep. Just look at where the chips fall when 15 is on the board. That's all the Philadelphia Eagles got to do. Look at what's around at 15. Because you got 15, 16, and 19. You will be in an amazing spot at 15. I'll give up 19 for DK. I want Booth Jr., a, a Jobo, and Ole, and uh, Alave. Listen, you don't got to trade up for that. I believe we're going linebacker with our first pick. If Nicole Dean there or Devin Lloyd, it could happen. This draft could be the foundation for the Eagles for many years. This draft has to be. McDuffie, most underrated. He's definitely underrated. This draft has to be the foundation for the next 10 years for the Philadelphia Eagles. The next 10 years of our franchise rides on this draft, which is why you have to use all three of these picks. This is the most important draft in Philadelphia Eagles history. I'm telling you, man. If anybody disagree, then they just like, they just like disagreeing for sport. It's easy to say why this is the most important draft in our franchise history. It don't take a rock. It's not rocket science, man. The first time in franchise history that we had three first round picks. We only had two first round picks two times. This is hands down the most important draft in franchise history. We just got to go out there and do what it's supposed to do. We should have enough for Marcus Williams. All we need is a linebacker, wide receiver, uh, and cornerback after that. I agree. You have to use all three picks. You know what I'm saying? You have to use all three picks. Since we ride on what hurts, let's aim for a six, for a six, seven defense. For six out of seven, for what do you mean? What do you mean? Since we ride, since we ride on what hurts, let's aim for six out of seven defense. Um, I'm confused. Oh, top six, seven defense. I get it. I mean, yeah. But at the same time, since you ride on what hurts, you gotta get other guys that can make plays. Jalen Rager has just not made plays. And he's had massive amounts of opportunities from drop touchdown passes. I mean, you got to get guys who are going to be able to make plays as well. LaVishka should know really, really fits the type of offense that we got because LaVishka should know is amongst the top in the NFL and pat and run block and wide receivers. He's always amongst the top in that list since he's been in the league. He's a really, really good run block and wide receiver. And, you know, He's also a wide receiver that can take a ball as a running back as well. So I'm all in on LaVishka you know, I think that's a great move for the team. But there's no reason why you cannot have a top six to seven defense. So I agree with that. Who do you who do you think we're going to get at wide out in free agency? Do you think Juju or, Jar, uh, or Jarvis will be the better fit for us? I think Jarvis will be the better fit for us because Jarvis has route running savvy. Um, I think... I think that LaVishka Chenault will be a better fit than Juju. LaVishka Chenault is still on a rookie deal. You could do a one-for-one -one swap for LaVishka Chenault. I don't want Juju coming over here thinking that he's something that he's not, which is the number one wide receiver for this team, because he's not the number one wide receiver for this team. Bottom line, he's not the number one wide receiver for this team. There's almost nobody that you can get that would be immediately the, one, the, the number one wide receiver for this team. Now, Jarvis, Jarvis Landry, definitely could come over here and definitely could compete for being the number one guy but i think jarvis just wants to win i think jarvis will school Devontae and just he just wants to win you know what i'm saying with all the top receivers being snagged in the free agency i'm looking at drake london in the draft if he there at 15 i like drake london i think drake london what do you like 6'5 230 listen if you got a draft wide receiver you might as well go get you a big body guy who can high point the ball because ortega whiteside can't do that he had the opportunity to high point the ball, went right through his hands last game of the season. Jalen Rager cannot do that. Jalen Rager is amazing at high pointing balls in practice. He, 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 you know what I mean? Dallas Goddard is really not even the best at high pointing the ball. We have nobody on our roster that could win a jump ball. You got to go out there and get one of these big, young, physical guys who could potentially do that. What wide receivers in the draft uh, you like and if we don't make a, a free agent splash? I like Chris Olove in the draft. Um, I like the other guy from Ohio. I like the I like the other guy from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? I forget his name. Uh, he's more of a uh, he's a little smaller than uh, than Olove. A little shiftier. Create create separation at will. I like him. I like Burks. Um, 
Garrett Wilson. Yeah, Garrett Wilson, that's his name. AJ Boye just got released. That's a move you should be making. That's a move you should be making. I like Jameis Wilson as well. Jameis Williams as well, I'm sorry. Um, it's a couple guys I like, man, as, as far as wide receivers go, man. It's, 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 it's some guys out there, man, for you. Garrett Wilson, the, dude, the separation is remarkable. When I think of Garrett Wilson, I think of, you know, how high I was on Elijah Moore last year. And you've seen what Elijah Moore was able to do with an absolute bum at quarterback. Michi will be there in the second round. I like Michi in the second round. I think we should keep Nelson, uh, just in my opinion. Uh, I think we should keep Nelson as well. But if you could upgrade and get um, A.J. Boye, I mean, I ain't mad at that. A.J. Boye might be a little old, though. You know what I mean? I like the idea of Odell opposite of Smith, but Odell was coming off an injury. Odell needs to go somewhere to where he's already two solidified wide receivers. Listen, Odell to Dallas is a real, 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 you know what I mean? Odell, Odell to Dallas is a real, real, real possibility. LB, Louis T ain't really rock, rocking with Wentz. Well, he can't really rock with him. No Commanders fan can really rock with Carson Wentz right now, or they'll just be walking contradictions. It's a lot of Commanders fans, you know, that have been hitting me up. You know what I'm saying? Texting me. Oh, we got Wentz, man. We Oh, we got a total upgrade. We're going to be this. We're going to be that this upcoming season. But when Wentz was in Midnight Green and when Wentz was with the Colts last year, y'all had a lot of jokes for him. Just because the jersey changed don't mean that, you know what I'm saying, the level of play is going to change. I expect Carson Wentz to be somewhere around. I expect Carson Wentz to be under 30 touchdown passes and under 11 picks. I expect Carson Wentz to have a really a really good statistical season, but I don't expect Carson Wentz to win in high pressure situations. I don't expect Carson Wentz to come into the Lincoln win against Philly. I don't. I don't expect that. You know what I'm saying? I don't expect Carson Wentz to 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 to, to do a number of things like go to the playoffs. I don't expect that from Wentz, so we just got to see how it pan out. We just got to see how it pan out. You know what I mean? So like, like, like I, I, I expect Carson Wentz to finish the season. I don't expect him to get hurt or nothing like that, but I don't expect him to come out there and light it up. I just don't expect it. He's not that type of guy. It could go really, really good or it could go really, really bad. The, 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 in, the in between for Carson Wentz is having a gut wrenching loss and making and missing the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Carson Wentz finna destroy them birds. What birds? The Philadelphia Eagles is going to trash Carson Wentz when we play him. Carson hasn't been to Philly since the trade. He won't be able to handle our home crowd. He won't. He won't. This is the thing. Carson Wentz is not even going to be able to perform at FedEx Field because we're all going to go to that game too. We're going to go to that game too. Car Carson Wentz is not going to be able to ever sit down comfortably while he's playing the Eagles, whether it's at home or away. You know what I mean? Backup quarterback, first round, Harry Roseman, genius. I don't know, man, but you know, a lot of stuff still got to happen, man. We still got some pieces that need to be uh, that need to be filled. Bringing Reddit back was a it, it was a really really good move, but it's still some things that have to happen. I want to see something in free agency happen for this offense, man. I want to see a playmaker get signed. You know what I mean? Will I be mad at Juju? I won't be mad at Juju because, like I said, our Thigga White side. Listen, listen, if we if we being honest, listen, I like Greg Ward. I like what Greg Ward brings to the table. I do. But Greg Ward, I think a white side and Jalen Rager, they gotta go. We gotta get we listen, having Greg Ward on the team doesn't hurt or help. And that's a bad thing. You gotta do one or the other, man. If you're not hurting or helping, then you're hurting in a sense. You're hurting in a sense. What the what 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 can Greg Ward, Ortega Whiteside, or Jalen Rager bring us even in the punt return game? I mean, Jalen Rager was abysmal in the punt return game. You would think that would be the one thing he might be able to be good at. Now, granted, he had two good punt returns since he's been the Philadelphia Eagles. One went for a touchdown. One went for a lot of yards. But I need more, bro. Half, half the time, he, he waves his hand in the air, call for a fair catch, let the ball hit the ground. And the ball gets down in like inside the 15 or the 10. You know what I mean? He can't even get us in great field position. I'm I'm just not I'm 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 over Jalen Rager, man. I'm over it, man. I'm over it. Will Fuller, I don't want Will Fuller. 
It's a one-trick pony. I need somebody who can do more than just stretch the field. I need somebody that could do some great things in an intermittent, intermittent passing game. We need a lot, yo. We need a lot. We need somebody that can run every route in the route tree. We do. We need a complete complement to Devontae Smith. And a deep threat is not a complete comp uh, compliment because, as we all know, that's one of the areas that Jalen Hurts still has to improve on. It's deep ball timing. Now, he got the arm strength. It's just the timing. He's cool underneath. He's cool underneath. A cheaper option for us at safety could be Jabril Peppers. That could be a real, uh, you know, I, I, I get it. Put some respect on Sir Blocks. Uh, put some respect on Sir Blocks a lot name. I don't know what you're talking about. How you feel about Miles Jack? I mean, that's a no-brainer. Miles Jack is an immediate impact player, but it's going to cost us something. It's going to cost us. Allen Robinson or Juju are the best fits for Smitty. Maybe. But give me Allen Robinson all day. Chris Olove would be a good number two. He would be. We need a possession receiver. Exactly. Jarvis Landry would be the perfect fit with Devontae Smith. I'm not mad at Jarvis. Metcalf would help the run game too when blocking. Listen, you ain't getting Metcalf. You're not getting DK Metcalf. You're not getting, you know what I mean? It's, it's, you're just not getting a lot of these guys. Devontae Adams definitely could be on the move because I'm hearing he's not even, you know, trying to even sign a franchise tag. You know what I mean? And that's the thing that you got to be careful of, too, man. When you got them type of quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers, who's making 50 M's a year the next four years, 40 years old, making $50 million a year, Brady is going to come back and make 30-something. You know what I'm saying? Um, Deshaun Watson is making that amount. When you, got a quarter, when you got quarterbacks making that much money, you can't build your team for real, for real. You can only get a bunch of dudes on one-year deals. They brought Brady back, and they had the franchise got one. You see what I'm saying? You can't take care of nobody else when, when you have a high cap guy like that at the quarterback position. Look at Green Bay. Green Bay will do anything to keep Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay, despite what has to happen around the team. They can't pay nobody else over there. Dollars put their foot in their mouth and pay way too many people. Way too many people. I'm looking at Leighton Van Der Esch. If Leighton Van Der Esch hit free agency, that's who the Philadelphia Eagles need to be looking at. I'm looking at Leighton Van Der Esch. Leighton Van Der Esch will absolutely excel in our defense simply because he'll get the reps. He'll be he'll be a, the, the probably the second best linebacker in the core. I'm, I'm really keeping my eye on what happens with Leighton Van Der Esch. I want Leighton Van Der Esch. Looks like Michael Parsons pushed him out, pushed him out. I like him. Adam's only good with Rodgers. I, I can't say that. Jalen Riggers know this year is his last opportunity to make a career in the NFL. He'll need to start taking performance enhancement drugs to get another contract. I don't know what he got to do, but I don't think drugs is, is the way. I think he just got to start showing up, man. It's a lack of focus, man. And also, it's the way that we use him, man. We use him on these bubble screens. And, I mean, he starts showing he was getting more comfortable with it. But I just don't think he played hard enough, man, for the league, man. You think we got any shot at Wagner? No, I don't think we got a shot at Wagner. I don't think so, man. But although getting um, getting Hassan Reddick, it adds a piece. It adds a dimension. You know what I mean? A move like Hassan Reddick shows that you can get some star power in there. You get some star power in the building. Hassan Reddick might got the influence to pick up the phone and call Hicks like, bro, we can make something happen. Hassan Reddick might have the impact to get on the phone and call somebody from, from, from you know, that he went to college with that's in the league. Somebody, man. You know what I'm saying? Cordell Patterson is available, but yeah, is he a wide receiver or a running back? You know, he, he's, he's like a weapon. I like Cordell Patterson might not be a bad move. ALB, let me get a wrench. LB, Dak and Amari had beef. That's why they traded Cooper. I mean, Drew, Dak Prescott is not the same quarterback without Amari Cooper. He's not the same quarterback. I think Dak Prescott has played... Since Amari got there, Dak has played, well, I think in totality, Dak has played 43 games with him, 47 games without him. Dak Prescott averages 211 yards passing per game with Amari Cooper, without Amari Cooper. With Amari Cooper in the lineup, that number jumps up to like 270. So it's a significant change without Amari Cooper in the lineup. But we got to see if Dak developed or not. We got to see. Cordell could be our kick return, punt return too, yeah. They lost, they lost Cedric Wilson? Wow. Metcalf could be a, um, an option at trade. Yeah. Yeah, but are they really trying to do that? 
Dante Jackson tired of no speed on the back end. Uh, Amari said he the Black Kirk Cousins. I mean, was that a real tweet? Was that a real tweet? Because the Black Kirk Cousins, because, because the White Kirk Cousins just got paid again. Kirk Cousins is serviceable, man. Kirk Cousins ain't going to take you nowhere for real, for real, unless all the pieces are right around him. But Kirk Cousins could play the quarterback position. So I didn't really think that was a slap in the face. I mean, Dak Prescott is worse than Kirk Cousins because Kirk Cousins doesn't have Super Bowl abs aspirations every year. The Dallas Cowboys every year have Super Bowl aspirations. Every year. But only people within the division really know that they not like that. Calvin really, really messed up the Eagles' plans to get Jalen to help. Um, first to free. I mean, I ain't blaming Calvin really for the mistake he made. Calvin really should only be suspended for probably four games, though. I read an article. They were saying Amari Cooper is the best route runner in the NFL. Amari Cooper is one of the best route runners in the NFL. He is one of the best route runners in the NFL. The numbers might not reflect it because look at the weapons that they have. I mean, look at the weapons that they have. If your man went in immediately in a slot like CeeDee Lamb has been doing since he's been in the NFL, I mean, sometimes you just got to throw, throw the ball to who open, man. Falcons are a sleeper team for Watkins, for Watson. Falcons ain't getting Watson. Right, they they're not getting Watson even after they you know after what happened with uh, Calvin Ridley. We should go after Marcus Williams. You have to. LB, would you pick up Miles Jack or Bobby Wagner? Bobby Wagner. Um, Bobby Wagner. Amari sweet though. So Amari definitely sweet. Amari don't show up on the road. Amari don't show up in big games as well. Amari softer than the Blouse and Bloomingdale's. But Amari did make Dak Prescott better. Definitely. Eagles don't truly want uh, none of these average receivers left in free agency. They just throwing out softball offers. Listen, the listen, it's nothing average about Allen Robinson. It's still a bona fide stud left in free agency. Allen Robinson is a guy you can throw the ball to. Allen Robinson can handle 200 targets a year. He can handle that kind of volume, and he'll bring in. He'll if you if Allen Robinson had 200 targets a year, I got him bringing in 150 targets. Route running is amazing. He got good size. He's strong. I really like what Allen Robinson could do. What's our current cap space? I'm not sure. Why don't we get Landry? I mean, Landry has options. Allen Robinson is overrated, my guy. That's cap. I think Robinson and Hurts will make magic. I do too. Allen Robinson ain't overrated. Allen Robinson had a bunch of bum quarterbacks, and he still was putting up numbers. We got nine mil left in salary cap. You could do something with that. You could definitely do something with that. You definitely could do something with nine mil left in salary cap, but it's a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, you need a lot of stuff, man. You really did. You really need a lot of stuff for real, for real. The smart move from a business standpoint at this point would probably be just, just to roll that nine million over and just work through the, work through the draft. You got so much capital, bro, but you will be, you will be coming in with a lot of young players who still got to learn as well. So if you could spend that last nine mil on another impact player, do it, do it. I hope Hurts gets to start. Why wouldn't Hurts be starting? You and the double O going to have your mock this year? Facts. I got to text 500. This uh, I ain't going to even text him. I'm going to just send him my first, my first nomination for the draft board. I think he's doing defensive end and cornerback, and I'm doing linebacker and safety. So I'm going to send him my first, my first nomination today. We're going to get it popping today. But I draft linebacker instead, build from the draft. Yeah, I mean, listen, listen linebacker is, is a spot that you could build in the draft. You could build linebacker in the draft. You could also you also could build cornerback in the draft. A skills player guy is harder to find. A stud wide receiver will be harder to find in most cases. In most cases. But you're looking for guys that's, that can contribute day one. T.Y. Hilton will help, possibly. Don't we still have another second round pick? We have the 51st pick in the draft. That's in the second round. Lewis Sign, safety from Georgia, can play multiple positions in a straight dog. I like Lewis Sign. I like Lewis Sign, man. Georgia, man. Listen, Nicole Dean, Lewis Sign, Jordan Davis. Um, what is his name? Trayvon Walker. It's another defensive interior guy, too, from Georgia. I can't think about it right now. You know what I mean? Shannon Tindell, uh, you know what I mean? Another linebacker. I mean, Georgia, I'm not mad at anybody from Georgia's defense that I just named. LB, I feel today is going to be a good game, my dad. What's going on, Dank? It could, it could really be a good day. Devontae White. Yeah, there you go. White, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? They got, they got some studs, man. 
No sleep on the SEC. I mean, if I got to, I got to. But Georgia got some studs. That's all I know, man. That's definitely all I know, man. You know what I'm saying? But official video coming later, man. We're going to talk about, you know, what we should do with the rest of this nine mil. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I'm, I'm excited because I think Howie Roseman got his head on straight. I really believe that he got his head on straight, and that means nothing but much success for us. So thank y'all for tapping in with Lunchtime with the Bullies. Y'all already know how I feel about y'all. Listen, we're going to ride this thing beyond 20K views. You know what the vibes is with that. I can't wait for the schedule to come. It's just so much, man, it's so much. Enjoy your Tuesday, man. Go out, take a walk, get some of this good sun. Drink water. Mind your business. Official video coming later. Oh, yeah. And I'm probably doing something this weekend with Natalie Eganoff. That's going to be fire. Listen, we just working, man. We just working. Draft board will start today. Me and 500, I'm sending my nomination today. And I think it's a really, really big live stream coming up this Saturday, I believe, on Philly Mike's channel. All your favorite Eagles YouTubers, including myself, is going down. Leo Chanel is a second round still. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think Leo Chanel is the best linebacker in this draft. The best linebacker in this draft. But that's another uh, topic for another video. Thank y'all for tapping in, man. You know the vibes, man. It's uh, it's raining, bro. It ain't raining out here, bro. Hey, I don't know where you at. It ain't raining where I'm at. But you know what I mean? Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for tapping in. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all. I can't say it enough, man.